G'day, Maddies and ladies. I am the Aussie Doll, and welcome to. <laughs> yes, that is right. Welcome to bloody Minecraft. Jesus, how do people do this in this point of view? Jesus Christ. Anyway, yes, that's right. You heard me. Welcome to bloody Minecraft. No, this is in Terraria 3D. No, this is Minecraft. And of course, we're starting off with no bonus chest because I'm a pro gamer. <laughs> now, the reason why I'm playing Minecraft today, I was originally going to actually do an Overwatch video, kind of doing my placements for competitive. But when I logged on, I couldn't even barely get a game. And then the amount of times I tried to get a game, I kept getting kicked from the server. And, you know, we just had a couple of little internet issues. So I was like, well, if I can't even get into a game, what's to say that you know, the game's even going to be good in the first place. So I was like, all right, let's just play something that I already have. Unfortunately, I don't have Sea of Thieves, so I didn't really have that to resort to as yet. And, oh shit, son. Oh shit. Well, 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 <laughs> this is already going fantastically as it is. All right. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we're having, we're already having a couple of like, um, internet issues as it is, so that's why I'm not really playing Overwatch. And only that, I kind of want to test out my um, computer a little bit more for different types of recording formats, because obviously when I recorded Call of Cthulhu, I was a dumbass and didn't do um, separate, what do you call, um, separate stereo tracks, so basically my voice was kind of blended in with the game, and you kind of lose it from time to time, so I'm not making that same mistake again, but at the same time, I didn't want to change it, because just in case if it was a bit too much, my PC crashed, I would have lost all that footage, so, you know, I just kind of played the safe game, and just kind of kept the same settings all the way through Call of Cthulhu, but if anything, that's it, that is really it, and know that, welcome to 1.14 and I already see a village over there which is perfect exactly what I want because that's actually what I'm going to be targeting a lot in this series now we know I know the aquatic update is still pretty strong and because now it's still here it's not like getting rid of or anything it's just been more added I think I think I also had to kind of re-back up this world again because I think it's like 1.14.1 or something they've done so I was like eh fair fair I'll let that slide Jesus Christ, this tree's big. Anyway, so, basically, I really actually wanted to do a survival Minecraft series for a while, believe it or not. And it was all the way through, like, 1.13 as well. And, you know, I started even watching a couple of Minecraft YouTubers. And I was like, hey, this is actually, you know, this would be fun to do. Nothing to, like, jump on the bad wagon or anything. But is this a different tree? No, it's just in a different colouring. Is it? No, it's oak. Yeah. Anyway. Um... But yeah, I didn't want to kind of like jump on the whole bandwagon. Like, I, I legitimately wanted to record these for a while. It's just, you know, at the same time, I didn't know what it was kind of, you know, going to get me like kind of, not really a reputation or anything, but like kind of, you know, is he like really playing that game or something? He's like, oh, Minecraft. Oh shit, you get sticks now? Oh, that's hella dope. So you get sticks while chopping down trees? Oh, sick. Cool. Anyway, well, I'm just going to get this amount of wood. And I might go kill a couple of cows, slaughter a few cows. Got plenty of saplings just to do a little tree farm over there, but I'm going to go for that village because, number one, like, because we basically need just the, the bare essentials of things, really. So I'm just going to craft up a few things. But yeah, like, I actually wanted to do Minecraft for a very, not, I wouldn't say a very long time, but just enough just to... Kind of, oh, that's, that's, that's wrong as hell. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, I don't even have the sticks to begin with. Of course, regardless, you need to craft more sticks. More sticks. More sticks for days. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, so, basically, like, I always wanted to record with Minecraft. And, you know, it was coming to the point, like, yeah, let's really dive deep into this. And then I heard about 1.14. It was like, hey, 1.14 is going to be big. And I'm like, well, there's no point in me recording if, if, you know, people... There's no point in me recording, like, you know... I wouldn't say it's an old update. It's still... The aquatic update is still massive within this game. Like, it's huge. Still, like, it's a big part of it. But there's no point in me starting a new survival world. And then when 1.14 comes around, there's no point in me, like, trying to say, save changes over to my world and do all that type of stuff. So there was really no point in me doing that. So I was just like, you know what? Nah, let's not do that. And didn't really want the risk of like destroying the world or something. So I've been waiting like since I think the announcement of 1.14 since 
I think it was either the start of... No, it wasn't the start of this year. It couldn't have been that early. I know, whenever Minecraft 114 was, I was about to, like, kind of record my own little Minecraft series. And these cows have just absolutely disappeared. Did I really wipe them off? No, there was four of them. But, honestly... Oh, there's, there's one of them. <laughs> Come here, Betsy. Come here, little one. Urgh. Easy. But, yeah, anyway. We're going to head to this village because pretty much the biggest of... Well, the newest of updates, because originally I was going to put um, my house somewhere near an actual, you know, water lake during the old update. But now, since, you know, the village is a new thing. So, yeah, I want to make sure. Oh, my God, there's a bed already. I know that these villages work completely differently. So, I just got to be careful not to kill them and be aware of them. Because, you know, if I, if I annoy them, I annoy them. Free torches, free... Oh, no way! Oh, this is perfect! Oh, whoa, this is so cool. Honestly, these villages are completely different and so much more in style. And oh, I've got a farmer. I'll just keep looking through it. But this is pretty much perfect because look, we've got the ocean literally right next door. And we've got our own little village. Alright, you're, what are you, fisherman? Nice, bro. Cool, bro. What else we got? A couple of nitwits. Now I know, I know there's a cool trick. Oh, there's a bell. Oh, that's pretty cool. So much content. <laughs> so much content. Now apparently with the nitwits, you can actually turn them into villages. Well, villages of a profession. Like, what's this? There's iron blocks. Oh, there's a blast furnace in here. Dude, what a find. What a find. Like, I can't, I cannot complain. So obviously, okay, you're a, you're a fisher. So I think we've got three professions in this village. Like you, who are you? Ah. You're, you're just the same dude. <laughs> Bugger. Okay, so this has to be another profession. Yeah? Oh, no, it's the same. Well, I might as well take this guy's furnace. You know that? I might as well take that guy's house. Well, you know what? I'm honestly, you think I'm going to be building roughly around here because, you know, we've got the village. We can always do trading and... Whatever else. Also, we can do the raids, which are pretty big and important. So, I definitely do those. And I think they're at random, so I definitely want to kind of get to going soon. But also... You're right, cheap. <laughs> uh, but if anything, like, we've got the perfect materials. And, you know, the ocean's right here. So, you know, it's a match made in heaven. So, sweet. Alright, let's get to work. Alright, so... I wouldn't say I'm, like, the greatest at concept design or building whatsoever. I'm just pretty general. You know, a house is a house. If I want to make it pretty, I'll, I will make it pretty. But, you know, I'm hungry. I'm starving. I can't run as much. Why did I run before, by the way? <laughs> you know, let's do a bit of deforestation. Just build me just a little just a little shit shack. A little shack in the woods. You know, I'm, I'm the overlooker of this village. Their protector. Their messiah. You know, when they talk conversations, they've talked of a new wandering traveller from across the lands. You should be my horse. <laughs> wandering traveller who live, lives alone. Don't butt me or I'll whack you. I don't mean to whack you. Don't come anywhere near me. <laughs> Please, bros, I don't want to hit you. Alright. We're just going to get enough wood just to make a, just a, just a basic house. Just an easy, easy basic house. And then, probably over time, I'll probably, like, expand, um, my actual home. Just over time. But for right now, we just get what we need. Could even, like, build inside the mountain. Like, have a mountain. Oh, that'd be so cool. Alright, we're doing that. We're gonna, like, build into the mount. Oh, there's not really a mountain so much. There's not really, like, kind of a, a mountainside I could really excavate from. Well, here might do. Because he's basically, like, almost a little shit shack he made. Anyway, I'll, I'll make like a, a basic tool shed, but at the same time, I still want to expand, and night is coming already, are you kidding me? I might steal one of their beds, but if anything, let's just get, probably like, one more tree should do it, and I am out, I need a... Technically, they're blast furnaces, so I might be able to do something. Yeah, let's go to one of the actual blast furnaces, I heard skeletons. Hey dudes, I need to use your blast furnaces. No, you... Can you, can you actually use them? Blast furnaces for cooking? 
Oh, these bastards are taking the beds. I'm screwed. <laughs> They're already going inside. They're already cowering. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm just going to set my spawn right here. <laughs> I have nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about, guys. <laughs> well, I kind of cheated. I guess that's another advantage, too. Like, usually I would have to, like, spend through the night. But I'm glad that I've set up a spawn point here. Oh, anyway. Maybe I shouldn't have done that for content. But at the same time, you know... <laughs> Minecraft survival. <laughs> Not, I wouldn't say, uh, Minecraft survival, eh, it's sort of my forte. So, if anything, my goals for this series is just to have a Minecraft survival experience. No cheats, no, no starter bonus chests, chest. no switching into creator mode, like, my cheats are basically turned off, I can't hotkey it or anything. I just want to actually experience Minecraft and share my adventure. I swear that's like what everyone says <laughs> when they start up one of these things. But also, just have fun, really. I'm honestly here to have fun. Let's carve down a few of these trees just to clear up the clear up the path a little bit for these guys. All right. Usually, I kind of get like a stack of um, actual trees because then I know I've got more than enough for. Bugger. <laughs> And then I've got more than enough. Well, I think we're just going to have to build from here now. <laughs> yeah, screw it. I'm not punching with my fist. I'm no, I'm no normie. Now we just need to find a spurt. Couple seeds. Nice. I don't want to be too close to the village. I just want to be... Just want to be in a walking distance. I might do something here. Make up an actual path. Like, continue the path along. So, I think... And I did see maybe a little bit of a clearing over here. Yeah, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Easy access to stone, too. So I might just do a bit of excavation here. Yeah, look. I'm overlooking the village. And what I could do, I could probably even... Probably... Build along here. And then plant trees. And then maybe even extend this a little bit. No, we've got, like, our own little... Our own little place. Our own little... Our own little thing. Just our own little... Our own little place. Probably, like, bug all it up later. Get some other stuff going, but yeah. Anyway, let's build a house. I don't think we need that much more. Just enough to get a basic house going. Nothing nothing too fancy. Where do I want to end exit from? I kind of want to exit from the side. Yeah, because if I exit from here, I have to go like that. So, yeah. Takes a bit of planning, interestingly. Alright. Now, I have a weird building design, so... I've just had a brain fart. <laughs> Uh, it's too wide. Now I regret not having a, um... Yeah, here we go. There we go, just a simple... And I don't really like to do the corners, like... I put another one there, because you're just wasting another space. You're just wasting another block. Nothing too... Nothing too big. Just something simple, easy, put together. What is that? It's a 5 by... Oh no, it's not a five. It's not a five by. It's more than that. One, so three. That's a six by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six by nine. Yeah, I mean it's a decent workspace. Definitely expanded from that. Yeah, plenty. But yeah, like for well, the goal of this series isn't to like join on the whole. Oh, one point fourteen hype train. Shit, that's where I not want to place a block. <laughs> Not join on the whole 1.14 hype train. I just want to, um, you know, just have a bit of fun with it because honestly, this this game has been like on my mind for quite a long time, and I'm probably just gonna throw this down real quick. Uh, make a door. That's a lot of doors. Nice. I'll. I kind of like that. If it was a slab, maybe, but I kind of like that. No, I have this, I have a, I have a little other weird pattern design, and I honestly need to get a bit of stone and start cooking. I need to start cooking some food, because I'm a starvy boy. <laughs> I like, I like running and sprinting, I like momentum. Oh shit, Cole! I guess my goals, besides what I just said before about, you know, all the other shenanigans and sharing, kind of, you know, my, my, my adventure with it all, and just kind of learning from it as well, and sharing my whole perspective of it. Because, I wouldn't say I play Minecraft too regularly, but 
enough to like, you know, I know, I know what I'm kind of doing. <laughs> I ain't no pro, but <laughs> we can get ready to go. Oh, that was a horrible joke. I'm not telling that one ever again. But, uh, and other goals, like, I want to legitimately beat Minecraft, because I'm going to be honest, even, like, throughout my Minecrafting days, I haven't beaten Minecraft legitimately. Like, I've done it for fun and creative and actually, you know, creatively gotten the tools together and beat the Ender Dragon, but, you know, there was no, there was no satisfaction in it. Which, I kind of did that when I was, like, really young. Like, oh, probably, like, when... One night? Uh, is it one nine? Probably, like... Yeah, probably, like, when nine was around. Version nine. No, because it goes one nine, one ten. Yeah, one... When one nine was around, I was kind of doing that a little bit. Then lost interest in it. But now, it's just... It's just starting to come back up. So, yeah... Bugger, my stone broke. Oh, plenty, plenty of stone anyway. More than enough to do what I need to do. You know, all we just need is just a simple furnace going. And, yeah, I know that we're just going to figure out what's like with the new blocks and all. So I just want to quickly get going here with some food. I might just go steal a couple of torches from the village. But at the same time, I don't want to. Just make one chest for now. Perfect. And, oh dear. Does it work like that? Like, it's it's not it's not planks, isn't it? Oh, it does too. Alright. Well, I might as well burn that. Then, dump some of this off. I'll craft some tools in a little bit, but I just want to finish the roof. If anything. You know, I've got this on my hand anyway, so I might as well use it. Might as well use you too. And then another trick I like to do for the roof is that I do this, kind of like a little dome. Because now, like, I'm, I don't think, this is, this is not going to be pretty, it's literally just going to be a shack in the woods. Nothing too spectacular, it's not like, you know, an ender city mansion or something. Something simple, something to conserve blocks because I don't have any of these corner blocks except for these two. So I, ha I don't need to kind of go out and make this. I know that creates a kind of archway too. And if I want to like smooth it out with a bit of slabs, I can do so. And I just ran out of that. Thanks. And I ultimately use less materials because I don't have this row. You know, I don't have that row. I don't have that row. I don't have that row. You know, I've saving, I'm saving quite a few planks. Quite a Why am I using a sword? <laughs> I'm saving quite a few planks on me for other things like, you know, charcoal and whatever else. It just makes things a lot more easier. If anything, I want to get, like, um, there's a little AFK fishing farm, which I like to do. Probably done by uh, none other than XI Zoomophoid. So, and honestly, I've used that fishing farm quite a, f a lot in previous worlds that I've had, just playing around, screwing around personally. But, honestly, that fishing farm is ridiculous. Like, you get so much from it. And as soon as you, like, you get, like, a mending... A mending fishing rod with um, luring three or whatever other enchantments you can get to it. You're, you're just set because you're just gonna get keep on getting, just keep on getting, just keep on getting. Now we've got plenty of stone, so let's just upgrade our tools. Don't really need that much. Stone sword would be hella dope. Bloody hell. <laughs> uh, that will do. Axe will do. Shit, a latrine digger, and I'm out of fucking <laughs> sticks. And a uh, dirty hoe. Yep. No, I probably don't need all those tools, but now I've got the whole set with me. Oh god, these zombies are annoying, but let's just get like an easy, quick farm going, and that's probably why I don't want. Um, can I make more charcoal? Can I, can I make charcoal or some shit? I can use fuel for that. No, it's not a thing. Maybe it's with logs. Aha, there we go. Because I know you can make charcoal from logs. That's how I make tor my torches. And then if anything, I need to get a bed. I could probably steal one, but then again, it's just too easy. I don't want to make things too easy. Because I think, like, taking that bed is set my spawn point over there. So it just made things just a bit easy on me, which, I mean... I mean, you know, I was lucky to have this bloody village next to me. Next to spawn, even. But even so, like, I, I don't want to make my, I don't want to make 
make it too easy or anything. That's the thing. I want to, like, do things legitimately. So after that, no more using the village otherwise than trading or other type of resources. And... Bucker. I'm an idiot. I have food on me. Why am I not using it? This is what... Oh, shit. What? Oh, my God. This has never happened to me. Oh, my God. I don't know how to deal with these things. How do you come on land? You shouldn't come on land. Look at that. Why didn't I jump in the water? I'm a moron. Ugh, damn it. Skeletrons. Oh, dear boy. I think we might have to just hide out the night or even use the bed. No, I refuse to use the bed. I've said it now. At the same time, now I regret saying that. Not being able to use the bed. No, what we're just going to do is just find some sheep. Can't be too hard. You know that? Who can touch me? But spiders. <laughs> Bloody hell. Literally, a couple of sheep will do. And, oh shit, there's a couple of glaciers over there. Wow, this is like a really nice environment I've decided to set up into. Because we've got a lot going on now. Oh boy, now I have to touch the ground. Well, we're done playing the floor as lava. Until now. <laughs> oh, there's a creeper. <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 oh. Can't get me. Can't get me. I'm fucking gone, boy. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, bloody hell, he's chasing me. Sheep. I should have really looked at my coordinates to see where I was. Ah, this, I'm, I haven't gone that far. I've literally just gone around the other side of the hill. But sheep would be nice. I cannot find a single sheep. God damn it. God damn it, really? I think uh, all we can do... And I've just forgotten my house isn't even lit. So, a chance of mob spawning when I get back in is high. Very high. Slaughter this pig. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that. I know if I don't sleep at night enough, I know I get phantoms, which honestly are probably the most coolest, freaking annoyingest. No, the most annoying this mob by the drowned. I hate the drowned. I really do, like, they're just, they're just kind of annoying, they're just in the way. I do get why they added them, because you needed a mob to be under the water, but... Oh shit, oh shit, son. Where's my, where's my hat? I don't have the bill so far away. Anyway, we've got, we've got to stick something, so I can just literally duck in, duck in. Alright, go, 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 go. Oh shit, my sticks in here. Just one or two will be fine. There we go. Alright, let's just actually place these neatly. That'll be fine. <laughs> Bitch. Alrighty, oh, well, I might set, might set up the chest the other way. So I think we'll do that. I'll actually set the chest up. Uh, I like this one. I'll probably set the bed up. Oh, bloody hell, go away. No one likes you. Go away. Shoot. If anything, I'll get a farm going tomorrow in the morning because sun is dawn is almost upon us, which is nice. And I'll just expand us a little bit, go a bit of cave spelunking and diving, and see what we can find on our mysterious adventures. Let's go into the night right now and see what we can find. Because I know, at the same time, I think we need to also protect some of these villages because they're not the brightest in the world. What's up, bruh? How you doing? Might steal one of those. Oh, sheep! Perfect! What are you... You bastards have been hiding out on me. Like, legit, I've been wandering all over in the darkness just to find you two here. Oh, that's a nice design. Is anyone in here? Oh, shit! I didn't think about checking the chest. You know what, they're here. If normally if I would come across a village, I'd normally do this anyway. So I'm gonna take one of these barrels. Yoink. Shit, I'm such an idiot. Why haven't I looted this stuff? And why are you being a brave soul? Oh, there's a Well there's an ocelot! See you bud, see you bud, see you bud. <laughs> Why don't you get in get in, get in boy, get in. Oh. 
Alright. Oh, there's an iron golem out here anyway. He's not... Sorry, bro. Didn't mean to upset you, bro. Ow. If I piss off this iron golem, or piss off the skeleton. Oh. This is so cool watching. I might as well join in. Gonna cook cows. I'm gonna take out the skeleton. Damn, these things are aimless. And I didn't realize my health is low. I'm not having creeper holes today. Stupid cow could have killed you. Get wrecked, son. Jesus, these freaking iron golems are wicked. Right here. Do you have anything in the furnace? Nah, not really. Ah, oh, I'm so dumb. Why haven't I... Oh. I'm so dumb. Why haven't I not... You're kidding. There's not a drone in there. Oh. Bloody sniper and half. Shit, I might die. No. See how long we can go without dying. Spiders are my worst, because I just have an annoying hitbox is that a sheep? That's a sheep. Come here, baby. Oh my god, they've littered out here. Where are you where were you like ten minutes ago? Oh yeah, you get mutton mutton from them. And is is there really a drowned in here? Oh my lord. Oh no. He's turned into like a... Oh, bloody hell. Well, we've got to cure this guy and we've got to get that guy out, but now we've got to probably... We've actually now got to do a bit of a service. We need to protect that. If anything. We just literally need to get some wood. Because, honestly, that's village... No, that he was a profession too. So, how do you cure a villager? Isn't it with milk? I mean, I've got plenty of buckets. I could just dump one out and we'll be fine. Well, if anything, I mean, nothing's going to happen to them in the meantime. They can just squander around. But, you know, if I want... If I want to keep this village, I know that if I were to put, like, a, um... You know, different um, types of tables, like a cartography table and a couple of other new blocks, then, like, I can do that. Anyway, just... It's nothing... It's nothing special. It's just a... Keep these lunatics from wandering in. That actually kind of looks cool. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Me being a dumbass. These are iron blocks. Can't I? Ah, oh, the smooth stone. Damn, I thought, that, I thought they looked like iron blocks. That's right, since everything looks a lot more different, it's a lot more... It just, it looks neat. It honestly really does. Like, that's a clever idea. It looks neater. I can't still on their beds, but I'm not going to do that. Chest galore, and look the apples. I've got like texture and shadowing on them, and uh, the reason probably why, like I know I said I'm not meant to be using a village, but if honestly if I came across a village, I'd take their loot. That's just probably normal Minecraft stuff. You take a village's loot. Like if you came across a, um, you know, a blacksmith, you take what's ever in their chest. Same goes for like almost any. But I've pretty much checked all these houses. They don't really have anything else. So I might just report back. What are we doing? Let's doing something. I've got barrels. I've got crap tons of barrels, bro. Cool. And a bed, that's what we're doing. Just a basic white camping bed. Um. Ugh. Oh, the ocean's... Oh, my God. Whoa, what's this? Holy shit, there's like an underwater cabin. Oh, gonna drown. Oh, dude, I need to check that out. This is like a ball of spot. So, like, these are just kind of my type of easy farms. Like, I find, like, a, either, like, a, a lake or even the ocean, and then I just... I just build out. And I just... Because in a way, all I'm just doing is placing blocks. I don't have to do that much digging, besides getting the material from dirt. Might even say it does take longer, but, you know, I can get some efficiency stuff going. And then all we just really do is just... How many do we have? Plenty. Look, some of them just go there straight away, so... 
Now, some may call this inefficient. I just kind of like doing it this way. Anyway. Anyway, we want our potatoes to grow first. Cooked pork? No. Fucking get some spuds growing. Ah, they don't. They don't really have any farms going in there, so that's unfortunate. I'm not gonna get you go. Bloop. I don't have to worry about falling in. Oh, cool. I'm now a seedy place. God damn. Anyway, so let's check out that thing. I hope there's no magma things down here. Oh, that looks very weird. Whoa. That is so cool. I did see a cave. But let's not risk our oxygen. Ugh. That was easy. Cool, there's like so much to explore. This is fantastic. Alright, so that's just going to be growing to it as thing. The, sp the potatoes are pretty much the most coolest of all. And if we get carrots, well, even better. Even better, my bros. Even better. Who am I? I'm not pie whatsoever. I um, don't need that. Got a bit of kelp in here. Got some things. Got a bit of that. Alright. Let's gather up a few more materials. You know that the thing about, like, my it's just, it's just pleasuring. Very easy. Nothing to it. Now, for probably, like, the long, grindy stuff, like, if I ever doing, like, kind of resource gathering for, like, projects or, like, builds that I'm doing, I'm probably not going to be showing that, because if I'm not talking, then there's kind of, you know, no point in me record and waste space, or kind of bring a bit of hate to my PC, if that makes any sense. But yeah, like, so if I've got any... You know, let's light this place up a little bit. Yeah, we can actually see now. So, meaning... Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Uh, so meaning that usually I'll probably be playing this for like one hour and then I'll probably condense it into like a 20, 20 minute video. But honestly I've been talking for quite a while so I don't know how the hell I'm going to be doing that. I better make it fun, entertaining, hilarious. Sort of. Because yeah, this ain't, this ain't Call of Cthulhu anymore boys. This ain't a long let's play. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to deposit this. Coal, but even I uh, might. Oh, I've got four. Oh, screw it. I'm. I know that. I'm right next to it. Anyway, I did see this earlier. Just an easy, easy little, easy little cave. Little any uh, like iron outcrops I could take advantage of. I need all. You're just a. You're just a bullshit cave. You're just a bullshit cave. Oh, maybe not. Oof. No, I went down here just before, and I said it was bullshit. Damn it! <laughs> oh yeah, Rick and Morty season four's like been um, confirmed, so I'm like, ah, oh, sweet, nice. Jeez, Rick. <laughs> oh, right out. So I mean, I've only seen this has been a f probably a fantastic first start. I mean, we've got an easy house going, got pretty much all the resources. Now it's pretty much all like the kind of grindy stuff, but also at the same. Big flat, bro. Oh, that is actually pretty creepy. You know what? I should have built out here. And then made a pathway over the village. Well, you know... Oh, did that just spawn? Oh, shit. That literally just spawned. I did not see that before. Oh, my God. I know that this is actually kind of what I wanted to do in the first place. Like, make a... Kind of a surrounding. Like, you see this shack over in the distance. This is perfect. I might as well just plant some of these saplings. I thought I had more. Because now it just looks like it's just hidden. Which is nice. I kind of like that sort of stuff. That was the last of my sapling, wasn't it? Fuck off! <laughs> oh my god. I just want to go out for a little bit of swim to see what I can actually find. I should technically craft a boat, but if I see like a sinking ship... Which I think I do. <laughs> I'm going to go for that. If that's really a, a sunken ship, then that means treasure. Treasure. Ah, oh, it's so easy to build boats now. Honestly, like, this is a pretty grand first episode. Might do a little bit more, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's actually go out a little bit. Oh, yeah. That totally is. Damn, I should have brought a few doors down here. Because I've got a door trick I, I love. You can just place doors and then be fine. Because since this is an upside down one, I don't think it will really have an air pocket that much. Oh, fuck, there's also drowned here too, and I'm not really 
well equipped that much. Oh, that's good. Right. Good. Well, we've got like a, another objective and then more treasure as well. And look at that. Like, the house is so easy to see. Like, you, you just spot it from afar. Fuck, except for that. But yeah, building over there should have been the main point. Yeah, I should have done that. But anyway, you always need a starting. You always need a starting point. You know, I'll build a house when I, when I need to build a house, which is probably going to be, you know, next episode. I mean, we could even do that tomorrow, but I need to gather resources and such. <laughs> nope. Oh, nearly. Maybe I shouldn't have put those trees there. Great. Damn it. There's obviously a skeleton or two. Can I sleep down? Yes! I should actually light my place up a little bit, but let's do it sneakily. Ah, oh, it looks pretty cool! With the bowels and such. You know that, I think I've kind of bowed myself. Because now there's like cover for them to stand underneath. We'll light this place up. Oh, don't even sun. All right, now for like kind of like for lighting this place up, it's not. I wouldn't say it's like that hard. You just got to do it creatively. Like I like to kind of make torches in between the trees and such. Like just places where like you think you would see a torch. Obviously, that's probably going to even regrow, so that's pretty much lit up and nice. So, and then we just it would just it wouldn't really like kind of make a difference uh, that much, but you know, at least it's a start. And honestly, I love my little thing. Might even expand into the tree and make like a cubby house or something. Oh, that would have ruined my day. Back off! Oh, boy. You're fucking dead, boy. <sighs> oh, I know that. They've actually fixed this now. So, with explosions, in theory, they... You now get the exact amount that's been destroyed. None of this, like, you know, with a... For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they fixed that. I honestly thought they fixed that. Well, there wasn't another thing like you know when creepers blew up, they now drop, they now drops the exact amount of um blocks now. But that's fucked. Come on, no, it's that. I'm pretty sure that was a thing. Like you know, as soon as, as soon as they do it, as soon as they blow up and die, as soon as they commit seppuku, they. There was an there was a thing in the update where like you know it, it actually drops the exact same amount of blocks, and I know I didn't pick up any because it would have been the same amount anyway. Because look, my inventory is empty except for these dirt I got before. What? Ah, oh, Mojang, you lie to us. Can't ask for more, can you? And honestly, like, and just a little, just a little sack. Like, obviously, I think I want to build up over there and make a connecting bridge over there to the village. That would be really sick. And then make that, you know, like a realistic bridge. So, obviously, like, pillars going into the ground. So, yeah, that's probably my, the biggest plans for Minecraft. And yes, this is my skin. It's an awesome, adorable, fantastic, awesome skin. <laughs> anyway, um, I think... That is going to cut it for this episode. This has pretty much been a pretty good an introduction episode. Do apologize for not um, uploading or playing Overwatch. I was going to do that, but obviously internet issues and, you know, just other issues kind of caught in as well. Mainly just with not connecting to games at all. And Jesus, how do, how do Minecraft YouTubers do this? Pardon me. <laughs> yeah, but... Other than that, yes, do apologize for not uploading over what you're doing, anything like that. It's just, I wouldn't say it's really, it wasn't hard, it was just more service interruption and just issues with our internet. So this is the next best bet, and I wanted to do this anyway. And now that things are just a bit more stable in the way. So, 
I think I'm going to leave this episode here. To, I think for next episode, we're probably going to be even building the house. So, basically all the stuff over there. Press the wrong key. <laughs> it's basically going to be building a house over there. Do a bit of strip mining as well. Getting a bit of resource gathering. Just getting some stuff up and going. Try and see if I can record my first diamonds. If I can, that'll be awesome. And definitely doing a lot of stuff with the 114 update. So... Probably building a couple of new blocks, using them and expanding to, you know, but if anything, this is like the perfect map. We've got the ocean right here, we've got a shipwreck already, so I assume there would be a guardian thing around here somewhere. So, you know, I couldn't ask for more. This is pitch perfect. Literally pitch perfect for an awesome starter series. So, that's enough of me of rambling and talking. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I can't wait to see you in the next episode. So, as always... Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this episode, please click the links and annotations for more videos that I've done. This is weird doing this thing. Like, comment, and <laughs> uh, you know, I've done. Like, comment, and subscribe today. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.